W1RCP, Rob here, doing a real low, uh, low quality video here. Just doing this really fast to show you $60 laptop transferring the N3 FJP's settings to your new computer without having to go through all of the setup. So in settings, you've got uh, edit fields, displayed position and tab order. When you click load saved configuration, you should have some EFL files down here. And uh, one of them is the Podaconfig that comes from uh, N3FJP. I have my own Poda file that I made before that one existed. And then I have a home layout. And this laptop probably won't ever go in the field again, so I probably won't need to change to these. But let's say that I want to use my home layout on my new laptop. So note where these files are up here. You can copy and paste this if you want to. Um, go to your file explorer. And we gotta wait for that to open. All right, so when that opens, you can paste that uh, address. It looks like I opened it twice because I was impatient. And you can paste that right there. And that'll take you straight to your AC log folder. And there are two files that I want to copy. I want to copy settings.xml and that home layout.efl. So it's going to take a control and I'm only going to select those two. Then I'm going to right click and click copy. And then I'm going to go to an external hard drive. And how can we get there quickly? Um, let's see, we'll just go back. All right, from quick access, we have, um, well, doggone. Sometimes I have to click around on this thing to find it. Oh, goodness. Uh, this PC, there we go. And then we'll put it on our spare drive. So you can just right click and click paste right there. And there they are. All right, so now we're gonna remove that external hard drive and we're going to come over here. You can see what it looks like right now. This is the, the POTA for this. Now, in order to make this work, you have to close N3FJP. And we're going to open up our external hard drive. And I'm trying to click to it and it's not. There we go. And we should have settings.xml. And I just want to select it. I don't want to rename it. And then we have our home layout.efl. So I'm going to select both of these, right click, and click copy. Now there are going to be some errors that happen. My log name on my home computer is different than the log name on this computer. But I'm going to go to that AC log folder. I'm going to click paste. It's going to ask me some questions. The settings we want to replace. And of course, this came from a different computer with a different username, I think. So I'm going to click continue anyways. And now they're loaded. So let's fire up N3FJP's AC log. Take a look at what we need to do there. All right, so I could not find your most recent log file. You can see um, it's uh, going to use just log data instead. It'll probably save that for you. Um, again, I'm not using COM5 on here right now. I don't have it connected to a radio. And we can see that most of this information is what it was like on there. And now you can see that some things are different. So we have SKCC, which is what I had on my desktop or my, my, my portable laptop. And, uh, when I say portable, duh, all laptops are portable, but that's my POTA laptop. And uh, so we're gonna go up here to settings and go to edit fields and tab order. And we can go to home layout and open that. It's gonna make you restart it. So it's gonna shut down, you restart it. And now you can see that the order is a little bit different. And this is what I use when I'm at home. I've got the call. 
I do SKCC numbers after the name. I have a podophile, and um, there's a couple others that you would use if you were actually in the field. These are where I log actual poda parks that I chase. Um, it, this is not my normal log, so you will want to go back to open and go find. See, I use poda log. So once you exit, it should save all that information for you and open up nicely next time. And of course, I'm making this video on the fly. If I make any mistakes, it's going to be there. So let's see if my log opens. All right, so there's my POTA log. All righty, so it works. Then if you want to go back, you can go File and go, uh, nope, Settings, uh, Other Fields. Of course, on this laptop, I probably won't need this. I um, will have to go change a couple of these. Um, back to how I had them. I did save that configuration file and I can put that back on there if I want to. Now there are other files that you could drag over. They're all XML files. Um, so if you wanted some other setup, you can drag all of the XML files over before you get started and you could set other things up because the order of these are different on here than they are on my computer. If you want them the same, you can make them the same. Um, I'm not going to. I'll put a couple of my settings back how I had them before I did this because I'm not going to use my home log on this POTA laptop. Alrighty, so if you have any questions, put them in the comments. And uh, thanks for tuning in. Hope this helps at least.